Okay, hi. Uh, so this is basically the last lesson uh, of this year in science, and we're going to be using um, some of the information that we've learned from the last few lessons about the atmosphere. And it's going into a bit of a literacy task where you're going to have to read and extract information from uh, the, the body of the text. Um, if you want to, this sheet is on the VLE. You don't even have to listen to me. Um, you can just jump straight in. Um, but I'll thought an opportunity to read it to you. Um, so I don't know, maybe make it easier. I can highlight some things. Um, but let's start off by answering a few questions. Can you name five pollutants? Can you explain how carbon monoxide is made? What are the products on combustion? Uh, I probably should say what are the products of combustion of uh, fossil fuels and which pollutants make acid rain? Pause when you're done, unpause, and let's go on. Okay, so let's answer the first one. Five pollutants. Well, uh, if we look at the next question, it talks about carbon monoxide, CO. We can have carbon dioxide, CO2. Uh, or we could just have C, which is carbon particulates. Uh, you could have NO or NO2 or SO2. There we go. There's more than five. Did you get any of those? How is carbon monoxide made? That is when you have in com complete combustion of carbon-based fuel. Oh, it's taken a while. When you have incomplete combustion, where there's not enough oxygen and it should burn and make carbon dioxide, but it actually only makes carbon monoxide, which is bad. What are the products of combustion? If it's complete combustion, you should get CO2 and H2O. And which pollutants make acid rain? Well, uh, it was NO and NO2 and SO2. They were the acid rain ones. So, lots of reading. Let's begin. Read the following passage and answer the questions that follow it to complete the puzzle. Atmospheric pollution occurs when harmful chemicals are added to the Earth's atmosphere. Some Atmospheric pollutants are produced by natural processes, while others are caused by people, man-made. Sulfur dioxide can be released by volcanoes or produced when fossil fuels that contain sulfur, such as coal, are burnt. This gas can react with rainwater to form sulfuric acid, which can damage trees and aquatic life. Nitrogen oxides, or NOx, are made when uh, nitrogen reacts with oxygen. These molecules contain very strong bonds and the reactions only take place at very high temperatures. Nitrogen oxides can produce acid rain and can trigger asthma, attack to asthma attacks in people. They can be produced during lightning strikes or when a plane or car engine gets so hot, the oxygen and nitrogen in the air react together. Most fuel contains carbon. So when these fuels are burned in a good supply of oxygen, carbon dioxide is produced. Most scientists believe that this gas contributes to climate change. When fuels are burned in a poor supply of oxygen, the gas carbon monoxide can be produced. This is a toxic gas that binds with the haemoglobin in red blood cells that normally carry the oxygen molecules required for respiration. Diesel engines produce particulates. Diesel molecules are bigger than petrol molecules and require a good supply of oxygen to burn completely. If complete combustion does not happen or occur, then tiny solid particles containing carbon and pieces of unburnt hydrocarbon are produced. These are called particulates. Particulates may cause health problems as they are small enough to pass through cell membranes. They may even cause cancer. Particulates can travel high into the atmosphere and cause global dimming when they reflect sunlight back into space and prevent it from reaching the Earth's surface. A lot of information there. I'll make sure the text is there for you to read when you're doing this. And these are the questions. And it's in a kind of crossword format. So if you just have to fill in, uh, you can just write the answers down. But if you do it in this format, some of the other letters will give you a clue. Number three across the element is found in fossil fuels, such as coal. Number six across, a gas in the air that has a very strong bonds with its molecules. Seven, a health issue that can be triggered by nitrogen oxides. Eight, this gas reacts with carbon to produce a gas that is linked to climate change. Number 10, the type of blood cells that transport oxygen around the body. 
12 across. Substances that have been made by people, not by nature. 13 across, these are known as NOx. 14, a disease that may possibly be caused by particulates. 15, something dioxide gas is produced when fossil fuels burn in a good supply of oxygen. Down, something fuels include coal and oil. Two down, a problem that most scientists believe is partly caused by carbon dioxide, an environmental problem, sorry, no, that was number two, number four, an environmental problem caused by particulates. Five, harmful chemicals that have been added to the environment. Nine, a fuel produced from an oil that has longer molecules than petrol does. And 11, these may cause global warming. Answer those questions, fill in the grid, you can copy it down, you can print out the form, or you can just answer the questions as it is, using that to help you. It's uh, not a long task, but it's a good thing to kind of bring all the knowledge together. And that kind of concludes the topic on the atmosphere. All the answers that you need are in the text that I read earlier. So there's nothing that's going to surprise you. You just have to reread it and extract the information. Um, but I'm sure you'll do well. If you have any questions, just ask. Love you. Bye.